YouTubers, <coughs> Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. No, I'm not sick. I'm just tired. My day off. Did a lot of things today, actually, and uh, switched over to winter tires uh, for, for going over the mountain passes. You need winter tires here if you want to go over passes uh, out of town. You hit these huge summits with your car, and you may got to make sure you got really good blizz axe or some sort of winter tire. Anyways, today was one of those days where you just don't you just you just don't want to get out of bed. You just don't want to function. You know, waking up this morning and was bombarded with messages from my subscribers, people telling me what happened with um, the shooting in in Nevada, Las Vegas, at uh, a country music concert. It's a very conservative part type party. Um, I don't, I just, I'm not here to report on, I don't want to, I don't want to report on it. I just want to know what you guys think, how you guys feel about this, the amount of hatred a human being can have inside of them, just the amount of blackness they'll have inside themselves to go out and, um, create an event or I mean for someone to go out it just I was really kind of emotional this morning when I woke up and I saw that then there was some other something happened in in Edmonton and it's it's I think we're turning against each other I think we are becoming this this hatred is building up towards each other and I don't know when it's going to end. I don't know why this is happening. Well, there's reasons why it's happening. But this, this blackness inside people's souls. I think people are moving away from, from reality now. I think the technology, the, the, just so much now that's moving people's perspectives away from what reality is anymore you know what i'm saying but i'm kind of choked up about that um it's, you know you go to a concert and with family and friends and to have a good time and and I just, I just hope humanity or people in general, just, just us, we could just come together, you know, and find some sort of, you know, understanding. I just, I don't even think it's that. I think it's just some people are demonic. I think some, so some people are, I don't know. Could it be, could it be this? I was thinking this today. The amount of people that are, um, like when I drive in, like I'm here in Merritt, like when I drive in from my house to work is like two kilometers, three kilometers max to get to my job. My question to you is, I pass by one or two people that should be clinically taken care of in the clinic, like clinically, like in a clinic being treated for some maybe mental problem right we all have mental i have mental problems you know I, I think the world's out to get me everyone has some sort of problem right but people some people have a really bad some very bad problems and 50 and 40 and 30 years ago a lot of these people would be institutionalized and, and treated properly and probably and have a or train them to function in society and then release them but what i'm saying is there's a lot of people That are not getting the help they should be. They're not being diagnosed when they should be. They're not not fall through the cracks because fall through the cracks is one in a million. Fall through the cracks or two, 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 two in a million fall through. I'm talking about waves falling into a, a gutter. That's how much is getting getting passed by now. Water streaming into a, into a sewer. That's how much 
it, we're fall, how much is falling through right now with the amount of mental illness and sickness that you see. And instead of these people being treated and then released into the public and retrained maybe just to help them maybe find what they're, what's wrong, you know, what kind of medication works for them, you know, what kind of training needs they need to go through, what kind of therapy they need. No, they're not. And I think it's going to cost the taxpayers a lot more not treating these people than it is to let them free. You know, I'm not saying, oh, stop everyone and institutionalize them. I'm just saying there are clearly some people that do need help. And we're not reaching out to them like it, like back in the 70s and 80s. A lot of people would have been picked up, taken care of, um, put into the system in a way where they could be monitored. So we're not at risk. Y you know what I'm trying to say? I'm all I'm all for the whole free freedom and people out and about and human rights and people do what they want type of thing and but I'm really troubled about what's been happening. I, I think I honestly think guys it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I hope nothing happens anymore. I don't wanna wake up to one of these episodes again. It's it's you know, like, like, oh, the guy in North Korea, the, that, that guy, that guy's, that guy's, that guy's spun. He is spun in the head. He's, he's off. He's out of his tree. He's out of his tree. Now, my question to you guys is this guy, that guy needs help big time. So, I mean, how do we approach this, this guy? How do we remove him from, you know, it's this mental illness that people have, and and this, he's got. This this that guy in North Korea has got lots of problems, mentally, but. It's happening. It happens in our leaders. It happens in instead of pe people being taken care of and and processed properly, and diagnosed. It's not happening. I don't know. How did you guys feel this morning when you heard the news first thing? How did you feel? Let me know. Comment below. I'm just, I'm, out of, I'm just lost for words, man. I don't even want, I didn't even want to get out of bed today. I saw that and I'm like, one of those, eh? Why? Is this becoming the norm? Is this becoming mainstream now? Is it going to be like 20 years from now? I could picture a radio broadcaster saying, Hello, people. Welcome. It's October 1st, 2020. And we have gone three days without a terrorist attack. And last record was was five days. Hopefully we could reach five days without another terror attack. Uh, the mayor of blah, blah, blah is celebrating this. And hopefully we could go one week. And what if it becomes it to that point? Where it becomes so mainstream that it's just, ah, well... Right, wrong place, wrong time. Let me know, guys. Comment below. Thanks for watching.